Hello, Rich. Yeah, hello. Oh, hey, Rich. Finally, it works. Um, awesome having you. Welcome on. Welcome to the show, Rich. Thank you, sir. How you doing? Good. How are you? <laughs> doing good. I'm cleaning the house right now. Getting ready for a house guest. Oh wow. Um. Life of, life of a rock star. Wow. So, so you think that's gonna like gonna be like a uh, thirty minutes to an hour, maybe? No, we can talk right. Do you want to talk right now? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'm all yours. What you got? Um, you know, I'm all yours. What you got? All right. Well, talk a little about yourself in case you never heard of him. He's you're the lead singer for the Imagination Movers, right? Yeah. Well, we all sing. We all sing and contribute. But I'm one of the proud creators of Imagination Movers. Yes, sir. Wow. I can't believe I can't believe I'm talking to one of the actual band members. <laughs> well, most most people will be busy, so it's it's really hard to get them on. Well, I'm glad to be here. Where are you? I'm in I'm in the I'm in New Jersey, in the East. I thought you were like in the Pacific, and then you said you were Central. No, I'm like, no. what? We have a lot of we do a lot of business out of Los Angeles, but we all live in uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh wow! We're seven boys. Oh well, so you're with the band, uh, or are you just you? No, I, so I'm. Yeah, I'm Rich. I'm one of the four guys. It's Rich, Scott, Dave, and Smitty. Oh, so, um, so you're by yourself, we, right? Or you're with the band? No, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm, by, I'm by my house right now with my family. My the rest of the guys are you know home or at work. Oh. We all, um, we were traveling this weekend. We all were playing for, uh, shows up in New England, and we came back home for the week to uh, spend Easter with our families, and then we'll go back out next week to do some more concerts. Wow, nice. So, well, uh, yeah, talk, well, talk a little about yourself. Besides the, the you've been the one of the lead singers of the Imagination Movers, still on for like a bunch of years, and you have your own show too. Yes, sir. We, so we, we began Imagination Movers about 10 years ago. We all had little kids, and we thought, how cool if we it created a television show that combined uh, lessons about creativity and teamwork with the uh, rock and roll style of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> so we, we dreamed up the idea and then just worked hard in our own community to, to, bring, the, to bring the show to people in our neighborhood. Uh, and from there, we were able to start playing a lot of concerts around the region and from there we that caught the attention of Disney and so yeah we shot three seasons of a Disney television show that's seen all over the world now and um, we're lucky that we get to go play concerts for families uh, all over the world as well uh, and you know just celebrate the power of live music and the power of creativity wow um by the way so, so how was your experience with the Imagination Movers I would assume it's all really awesome it is. We, we are so proud. You know, we were all friends before Movers began, and um, you know, we have. Uh, you know, we're, we're basically brothers at this point. You know, we've spent probably more hours with each other than anybody else in the world. <laughs> so we know we know each other really well. We're very excited because we have a, a new chapter uh, in, uh, getting ready to begin. We we've, we've started developing an animated television show called Super Movers, where, uh, you know, it's about a rock band that gets superpowers and uses those powers to try and help uh, people solve problems. Wow, Super Movers, is, is that recent? I never heard it's, of it. Well, it's not out yet. It's, we, we're just making the show right now. Oh, wow. We're working with the company uh, uh, right now to, to develop the uh, pilot and get the show made. Wow, Nice. Super movers. So it's gonna air. I assume it's gonna air on Disney, right? Uh, we hope so, uh, but I'm not sure. It could be, could be Netflix, could be Disney, could be any number of uh, uh, places at this point. Oh wow! So what, how exactly the, the the band come to like come about? You say you were all friends before. Were you guys also yeah. um, teachers like the Wiggles? Because they were all well, preschool we, teachers. Yeah, we'd heard about the Wiggles, right? Absolutely. I saw them in concert and thought that's a great idea. And, uh, we thought, you know, uh, kids television in general, there, there was mostly cartoons, there weren't a lot of real people. We thought how fun to make a show that showed some real, you know, male role models and just show people working together as a team and also rocking out. 
<laughs> wow. And so you all got together and form, uh, form your own independent band, and then eventually Disney Disney called, and then like you exactly made a right. breakthrough. That's exactly right. Yeah, we were playing shows all around the South, and then uh, they came to see us one one uh, at a concert uh, here in New Orleans, and yeah, and that that's how that's how our relationship with them began. Wow, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Wow, so so. How is Disney like? Because like, um, I don't think I've talked to anybody that that's actually in Disney. You're one of the only few first few guys that actually could, <laughs> could like talk about Disney. So how is Disney? It's been great. We have a great relationship with those guys. All the people that we work with and work for are are super smart and, and creative. So we're very proud, you know, to have put out all our all these records with Disney and have have the 75 shows. And we hope Super Movers, uh, you know, that'd be great if that ended up being a Disney show as well. Yeah, we're very proud. Love it. These guys are awesome. Well, so, so what is it exactly like in Disney on like on a daily daily basis in Disney? Like very busy, well, I would assume. Yeah, it, it, it's a busy life. Uh, you know, it's uh, I guess every every project over there is, is, is different. So, you know, we were lucky because we filmed the show here in they. they they rented a soundstage in New Orleans, and so we shot the television show here in New Orleans. Uh, so we basically brought brought the, the Disney Creative Brain Trust here to our city, uh, and then uh, but you know we also got to do a lot of work. You know we traveled uh, to Burbank and go out to work out there. We also did a, played a lot of concerts at the parks. So yeah, you know we've had we definitely have had a good uh, uh, diverse experience with all the different uh, elements of being a part of that that company. It's it's a lot of fun. Wow. So exactly how how, how would uh, people actually make it there? Because like, many people try and make it big, but they, it's not always successful in many cases. Well, I think it's, um, it's, uh, it's all about hard work uh, and making making your own luck, really. <laughs> as, as Steve Martin, the comedian, says, uh, the first step is to be undeniably good. <laughs> And then from there, you got to just, uh, you know, uh, just work hard, uh, uh, make make a lot of friends in the business, uh, believe in yourself, support yourself, uh, keep doing things, always be doing things, play shows, make records. Just the more you do, uh, the more you're out there, the more you create, the more the more potential, uh, you know, the more luck you may have, uh, the more you put out into the world, and the more... Um, you may get back, you know, I think that's, that's true. So we, you know, we're, we're actually very excited. We just made a new record called License to Move, and it's going to be ready uh, and available on our website uh, in the next couple of days. So uh, we think it's our best one yet. Wow, that, that is awesome. Um, and besides, you also, are you always with the group or are you also uh, like, are like solo? Uh, I, I have a one uh, solo record and I, and I'm actually finishing another one right now. Uh, it, it's, it's fun. It's going to be good. It sounds like um, it's inspired by Paul Simon and Michael Franti and Jack Johnson and lots of um, you know Bob Marley. Just all these cool, chill, like uh, you know, sort of great songwriters that, that have a, a fun spirit and a, and a good groove. Wow, that is, that is unbelievable. So you so you had to I guess make the make the time and available for to be with the band and even to be solo because you even perform like even on Good Morning America, The View, Live with Regis and Kelly, well, back when Regis was there. Right. Yeah, it's been busy. Those are, those are so fun. I had a blast the day we played Good Morning America. That was definitely a rock star moment. <laughs> Getting to go up wow. and play on live television all across the world, all across the country. It was a lot of fun. So, yeah. Yeah, we get those good moments. You get a lot of uh, boring moments too, of like you know. Boring. Just, yeah, you know, just like any other job, sending emails and getting projects organized and all that other stuff. So the the, uh, the rocking on live television moments, those are pretty few and far between. There's a lot of boring stuff that happens uh, as well. <laughs> wow. Hey, if it's okay, let's do uh, let's do three more questions. Then I'm gonna go. I gotta go uh, get ready for my guest. Oh, give me your best three. Hmm. 
Uh, and I also didn't, didn't know, like, um, you wouldn't have guests. Are you doing, like, a private concert? Oh, me right now, you mean? Yeah, like, in a, few, in a little bit. No, no, just, I'm, at, I'm just at my house, my, my home. I've got, oh. I've got guests coming in for Easter. <laughs> oh, wow. And I, I even have Easter break um, t tomorrow. That That's why I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, like, um, be on the studio. So I would have to, like, reschedule a bunch of people because, and, like, I wouldn't be at the studio. So I wouldn't want them to think that I didn't show up. But nobody's gonna be here because of the Easter break, you know. Sure, sure. Well, I'm glad we got to talk. Yeah. So, uh, so what else? Yeah. What are the questions you got? Well, how often do you do go like on um, like solo? Do you like is it like half and half with with the band, or you go with solo? No, no, no. You no, always my, with the my band. My main focus is is movers. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I I played a show here in New Orleans by myself last week. That was a lot of fun. But um, no, I mean we 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 have. Um, a lot more opportunities to play as a group, um, you know. So that that's 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 where uh, most of the excitement is. I do the I do my other stuff just for my own enjoyment and passion. Wow, that that is unbelievable. So, um, what advice would you have for anybody to that wants to get into um, Disney or even wants to make a breakthrough in general? Well, it comes back to that thought of. Uh, you have to have a good idea, you know, you have to be able to, you know, have something that, that makes sense, and it, um, so that's, sure, that's very hard to just, you know, we were lucky because we had a, a, a cool idea at the right moment, but then that's not nearly enough, then you just have to really just, you have to work, 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 um, and you have to be willing to do all the little small things that help, help get you toward those bigger things, you know, so sending, it, you know, sending a letter or an email to somebody or or showing up at, a, at an event to help promote yourself. Just all the little baby steps, you know. But of course, none of that really guarantees anything either. It's, it's, it's mostly just, um, you know, just, just doing, you really, you know, and, uh, all of it, just like in life, just like I tell my own children, it's, it comes down to doing your best. Finding something you believe in and then just doing your best to, to try and do a good job. That's kind of what it is. That's wow. why we're here, you know. Definitely. And you and your show, and your and, show right now. Okay, what's, give me one more question. What's your what's your final hmm. finale? Well, I, I, one thing I would... I can't believe uh, uh, you couldn't be on for that long, but I appreciate as, as much time as you have. Anyways, um, I guess what what advice you would... Um, not what advice. Um, what would you want... Any message you want to say to the listeners? Because um, they probably would think I'm, I'm nuts to say, oh, I'm talking to Richard Collins from Imagination Movers. And people who've seen this show... <laughs> They'll probably like know about the series more than I do, and they'll probably sure. like Chris. Well, you know? I, would, I would say, you know, again, um, don't be afraid to create, um, to have a dream, and to and to chase your dream. Uh, you know, and if you apply that with with you know the, the smarts and the street smarts to try and make something happen, you know, you. You can you can create your own you can you can create your own destiny you can create your own you know world you don't have to necessarily punch a clock um, uh, your whole life working for somebody else don't be afraid to take a risk and uh, you know just try and, and try and create something of your own that, that's I guess that would be my biggest uh, me message <laughs> you know wow. Christopher, man, thank you so much for taking the no time. No problem. Thank you for being on anyways. And hopefully, um, since I'm back in the fall, you'll be back and you can even bring the whole band if, they, if they're if they available because I know you guys are busy. So, but like, if possible, like, I would like, like the whole band to come on because I even had a recently, if you heard a song, Listen to Your Heart from DHT. Um, uh, uh, I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to there, listen to that for it. Yeah, you got you to gotta listen, listen to that song. It's a good song. And that was um oh, Edme okay. and Floor, and they were both on, by the way. Awesome, awesome, man. Yep. Well, if you keep up the good work. I'm glad you finally rang when we got on the Thanks. chat. Keep up yeah. the good work. And, Thanks, uh, I will. Uh, good luck to you. I wish you all the best. Thanks. All right. sir. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye. Wow. I can't believe from the imagination movers. It sucks that not everybody was able to be, but, you know, as long as, even if it's for a few minutes, 
that person took a long, like some time off them to come on, and I appreciate it. So thanks. Wow. Everybody shout, what's the big idea? Yeah. Hey, what's the big idea? So, well, we'll see um, what happens and hopefully we'll have him on again in the future. <laughs>